hi guys welcome back to my channel today i have the pet first aid kit this is very important to have on hand for any emergency let's start with the first aid kit right here i have the gas pads gel anti-fleece and ticks preventive pills for warm heart cotton pads, tweezers, antibiotic cream. Right here I have saline nasal spray. I'm using this liquid for clean and heal my dog's wounds. I don't use any more hydrogen peroxide. And here I have mental atom. It's like a uh, Vic. In my country, we are using all the time mental atom. I asked my vet, and she said it's okay to use with my pup. Paper tape and nail clippers. Here I have a port where I have globes. And please don't be distracted by my dog. I'm sorry. She's quiet but at the same time it's crazy okay so right here I have globes cotton swaps and I have a razor if I will have to shave the hair of my dog to heal any wound I have alcohol pads band aids and ear plugs guys in this backpack I will keep everything All that I'm showing you, I will put in a Ziploc bag to prevent all wet in case of rain or flood. You can use a backpack, briefcase or sweet case or a plastic bag if you want. And right here we have uh, more things that we put inside the backpack. For example, this is a boo bag, shampoo, a plastic plate for food, few pee pads, and a towel. And this is very important you have to take few bottles of water with you because you will share your water with your dog. And I have this glass container for your dog's kibbles, but you can use a plastic container or just Ziploc bags. But for me, it's better glass container. It's a little bit heavy, but I think it's more clean and the food preserve more fresh. After a hurricane, tornado, or earthquake, the temperature always tend to go down and it is very cold for you and your dog. So you need to have a boot for your dog. If out there you have snow, rocks, or glass in the floor after a natural disaster. If you want to learn how to do these boots, you can find the DIY below in the info box. And also, you need a blanket, jacket, collar or harness for your dog and leash. Of course, with the dog waste bag dispenser. If you wanna do this cute bag, please go to the description box and you can find the full video with the DIY.
Guys, this is very important for me because I'm brushing my dog every single day. So I will have in my emergency backpack a dog toothpaste and a toothbrush. And here I have the most important documents for our dogs. In these documents, I have the pet ID. This is the pet ID with a picture of my dog, the name, microchip number, sex, day of birth, color, breed, and pet parent name. Homogain is the name of the company of the microchip that my dog has inside of the body. This is a tag from Homogain with the number of the microchip and the phone number of the company. Do you know when you insert the microchip inside of your dog's body is forever? Yes. With this company, when you pay for first time, you will pay forever. You don't need to pay annual fees or something. Below in the description box, you can find the website, phone number, and everything about this company. If you live in the USA, I will recommend this company for you. And also, I have a picture of my dog and a picture with my husband. If the dog is lost, we will have a picture and we can find the dog with the police or neighbors. And here I have the certificates of my dog's rabies vaccines. If you live in Florida, Miami, here you have the address so you can get it. And also, it's very important if you have the medicine and information if your dog has any medical condition. Okay, now let's organize everything inside your backpack. Please make sure to have on hand for any emergency this backpack with everything inside. Please tell me below in the comments, in your country you have earthquake, tornadoes, hurricanes, flood, please tell me. For example, here where I live we have hurricanes. My name is Lorena and she's Candy, my coton de Tuliar. Please follow her every Saturdays here on my channel and don't forget my recipes every Wednesday. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, thumbs up and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and Snapchat. Don't forget to watch the last videos. Bye-bye. See you next time.